160 long one. Okay, it's still a little bit too high that one. Just needs to be cut through once or twice maybe. Uh, what's a good thing is that they're both the same angle as measured by the uh, the tools, you know, the um, spirit level and the angle, the adjustable angle. I just put up this little piece here as a helper. Just put my level on that and see if it's level. Yeah, it could go down a little bit there, so that's okay. It's close enough doing this. I'm well, just using that to help help orientate this. Yeah, it could go down very slightly, so I'm just going to cut through a couple of times to let it go down, so that I, so I don't, because I don't want to put these on and then it stop it from going down, you know, stop it from settling down to where it should be in the end. So I've got these rat tail saws, one does on the push, the other one does on the pull. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tight here. It makes a fair bit of difference really because that's uh, I think I might just use this. I think that gives a good... Because it's nice and flat, you see. So that gives me a, a good... whether to straighten I might straighten that back edge up actually instead of having round timber I think it's probably better for it to be straightened oh, well. I'm not maybe I'm not I won't bother but obviously it doesn't look as good does it when you when you go in uh, I'll, I'll straighten off a little bit but I'm just going to just use the chainsaw for that I'd like to use the axe because uh, it looks nicer, but uh, it's too too difficult. If I get rid of this as well, I don't don't really need these anymore. But if I can get rid of it, I find it in the way. So that's uh, that's much nicer because uh, that flat surface will go. It's much easier to to get that to go into the timber. There we go, and I can measure the depth. If I go four centimeters deep, that's probably enough. I think I'm going to do four and a half. I think. Because it doesn't really have to go in all the way that. 
I, I mean, that end has to reach there. That's, that's, of course, that is true, actually. Maybe I need to shorten this slightly. Yeah, otherwise I have to go deeper, you see. It has, it's very important that this um, hits um, the wood there. Right, it's not that important actually because it's going to have plenty up here as well. So I'm just going to line scribe this against the timber to four centimeters. But, um, I should take the bark off really. I'm going to do it a bit deeper because uh, I think it should go. It should definitely go a little bit deeper. I want that to hit something, you see, it's not it's quite important that it hits something. I'll go to that depth. It doesn't really matter what the depth is. Can't really see anything because of the because it's fresh. I'm going to just put dots in because it's too fresh to see the, the pencil. And that can also go underneath as well. I'll cut a bit of that away. This is going to go. That's going to go. <clears throat> and then I'll just carry that line into the edge there. And I'll cut this in here. And uh, it wants to be, uh, well, you know, I just, I'll do it about four centimeters, I think. Five, maybe. Five. I'll do that five centimeters deep. So now I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Quite tempted to put a line up from one side of the building to the other to see if see, to see what where my straight line is. I can uh, I can look that way. Yeah, that works. As long as you can get your eye in the direction that you're trying to go in, you can just see by eye the plane. long. That's better I've taken off with a saw. Still perfectly uh, in lobbed, as I call it, lobbed. 
like a lodestone. It's like an old word that we have. Actually, it's, we have it in common with English. I think really it, it needs to go that way into a bit, so I think I'd probably cut that slightly the wrong angle. That tap there, the top um, kahul as it's called in Norwegian, um, dovetail vortex. side of the line you know it's better to take a little bit off isn't it than it is to have to have the gap too big so I like to uh, well I think of it in a way that it's nice to just creep up on what's correct and then you know towards the end suddenly everything is correct and it's probably a slightly time consuming way of doing it really that should I'm a bit more disciplined with my measuring and everything. Yeah. That's that's all right. That's quite good. It's not deep enough. It's quite good. So I'd like to go a little bit deeper. Probably not that difficult because it's very soft to the press timber. So now we're close up on this part, and you can see that I've, I've got that looks really good up there, and it looks quite good on the bottom edge here, uh, but it's very tight on the bottom edge. But this gap is not quite right, so by doing a cut through here, I can allow this piece to move up slightly, which will let it go deeper. moment it's just too tight there to go in at the same time it's going to get rid of a little bit of the mistake there just, uh, I'm not I'm not after perfection on this I just want it to be kind of a little bit better than it is If it went a little bit deeper, it would go, it would touch all the way in. I don't know if I really want to cut through the, the post very much more, so I might take a little bit off the inside edge of that. At the other end, it looks quite good. Maybe I'll take that one down a little bit more, because it would be quite nice if that, if that flushed with the surface there, wouldn't it? To do that, I'd have to go down four blocks. Yeah, 
I did four blocks from this surface here, then uh, it would fit. Line that up there. When I say four blocks, I mean I mean four of these. start telling me off now because I really should use a wooden mallet for this but I'm doing it I promise I'm doing it really gently and I've got a massive supply of ash seasoned ash which is especially there for making new handles so if because I'm being a bit impatient, I have you know I haven't got a mallet actually at the moment. I broke my hallet, mallet. So. But really, this fresh timber is uh, it's pretty soft. I'm not going to do any more on that now because uh, that's probably much better and uh, you know really it's going to change quite a lot it's going to shrink so I'm going to leave it a little bit rather than do a, do any dirt work so I think I'm just going to use um, like 20 millimeter no, even maybe less. Yeah, now about 20 millimetres perhaps. The pegs. They're just going to be small, but I'll make them out of ash. Yeah, 20 millimetres. Maybe just 16 actually would be enough. I would have liked that to have been completely flush. But I mean, really, this is good enough. Here's a shed. And then you might think that these pieces are very small. You might think, ah, oh, they're very small. But, um, the important thing is this, that it hits here and there because it's the compression, isn't it? It's compression that we're after. The, the dovetails are there for stretch, but I mean, really, that, that's not going to, it wouldn't do anything if there was, if it wanted to stretch that way. They're, 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 not, they're not tight enough. Thanks very much for watching. Welcome back to another film a bit later.